Um, good uh, evening, members of the media. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Even though I don't see ladies in here. I think it was a highly tactical game. Um, when you look at the two teams and um, the tactical approach, the analysis we have done of sundowns, and I think uh, they also did the same. Um, but I think um, tactically we did not apply ourselves properly in the first half because we were giving them too much of the ball and uh, they ended up dictating terms and the plan was to stop them from playing through the middle field of which uh, we could not get it right. And also we're fully aware of uh, the width that they provide, especially when they're in possession in switching play. I think um, on the on the right we did very well with Riff Rosler, did him very well with uh, Masheho in reading into the situations and uh, winning those 1v1 situations. Um, the plan was for us to apply high pressure, uh, meaning high block out of possession, uh, because we are fully aware that uh, they will always start play with uh, with uh, Ronwen, and then uh, from there they they, they, they they develop their game into into the middle field. So I think that was the biggest mistake we made in the second, in the first half by not uh, applying pressure on the keeper and the centre backs uh, during build up. Coming into the second half, I think uh, we corrected uh, two things that were very glaring with our approach uh, in the first half. Um, by the way, the feeling for us was that uh, we never pitched up uh, for the first half in terms of our application of our tactical approach. So second half, uh, we, we came out a bit better, uh, putting pressure on the ball carrier and also applying a bit of high line. And then we made some good substitutions that came in to bring some energy into the game. And that is how we got to the goal. Um, but from there, I think uh, we, we, we did not defend um, the goal that we have just scored. We allowed them to play again behind our defence and then uh, mistakes do happen in football. Thank you, Coach. We're going to take a few questions because it's a press conference tomorrow. Just three questions. Jason, a question here. Coach, can I ask you what you say to Peterson in a situation like that? And when you say you uh, it wasn't the game plan, did you, can I just ask you, uh, on the other hand, did you come perhaps conservatively for the first half and then open it up or did you want to go out at them in the first half and it just didn't come off? Yeah, like I said, um, we know Sundowns is a possession-based type of a team and when you look at our starting 11, we, we planned around having very quick uh, forwards to put pressure on, on their defence and the goalkeeper when they start play from the back. Unfortunately, um, we could not uh, consistently apply uh, the plan in terms of putting pressure on them. When it comes to uh, Brandon, I think um, um, things like this do happen in football. Um, if you were to count how many times he came out to save the team, um, will nullify the mistakes he made that led to the goals. Um, anything that happens in a game of football, it's a, it's a, team, it's a team effort. Um, if you were to look back and try to trace where the, mistake, the first mistake was made, it is not only about him letting in the goal, but the whole team uh, made a mistake, and then how that's how we considered. Uh, coach, you, your team in the first half, and I think maybe early in the second half, there was just no intensity when they got the ball and went for it. I think maybe later on in the game. What do you attribute that to, especially when you've got such fancy players that could have, you know, on break attacks, have sundowns? And also, you've mentioned, you know, what sundowns are, but after playing them, a team that many say are good. What do you think are the positives from your side that you think you can build on? The positive from our side, I think, is the same thing because if you look at the structure we had, um, it worked out. Uh, not giving them space in between the lines. Um, in the second half, applying more pressure on the ball, uh, which uh, led to them making mistakes, and the mistakes ended up giving us uh, chances to score. And the positives from our team is that um, we stayed in the game despite the fact that we're not playing our normal game. Uh, mentally, we're very strong uh, in terms of uh, staying in the game uh, and also defending as a team, uh, which was very important. I think when, when you talk of uh, our offensive players, 
Um, Sundowns applied a very deep uh, defensive block and then we created more of half spaces in front of the center, the center backs, but uh, we could not come into those half spaces. We were always looking for a forward ball and a forward run instead of us keeping possession and playing uh, into those half spaces. Good evening, coach. You speak about mistakes in the first half, Castillo, which led to the game, uh, to the goal rather than in the second half. I think we saw that he's probably, I think he's an artist, you know, he paints pictures with his passes. Uh, is that what we can expect from him for the rest of the season? Because I think he really looks a good signing. Yeah, look, uh, the mistake we made in letting in the first goal, it was that they applied a high line and uh, we wanted to play through the middle field. Uh, in situations like that, um, as a defender or as a goalkeeper, you bypass the first line of confrontation. And I think uh, with the confidence we have on him uh, playing and helping us to play from the, from the back, that is why the ball was played to him. But I think uh, Sundowns were very organised in applying high press on him. I think uh, he's one quality player um, that uh, has shown in the past in terms of uh, uh, his game understanding, his, uh, his, his intelligence on the ball and off the ball. Um, we just need to have more of tactical cohesion and understanding in terms of how do we use him going forward and how do we use him in defence. Uh, um, going back to Maskev in terms of the positives, I want to focus on the players, Ule uh, Modi, uh, his name today, also Ranga, how far can, can we expect him to, to gel into the team because game number two, yeah, I think it's also about the recovery. Uh, we we never had Ranga with us in the in the preseason. Uh, he just came in and he was training on his own, uh, but with the team in the in camp. And I think uh, it was more about his recovery because he played 72 minutes against a, a cheaper. We are fully aware that today he might not be as 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 quick and as light as mobile as as expected. But the plan was for us to keep uh, the centre backs more worried about him staying between the two centre backs. And I think uh, he did what needed to be done. Unfortunately for him, he did not even get a goal or a shot at goal. But uh, he's a quality striker that we have. We'll work on him. And when, as soon as his confidence is, is, is good, uh, he will start to deliver for the club. Thank you, coach, and good luck for the next Thank you.